Hello, my darlings. Welcome to another unboxing video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a really neat subscription box that I received for review purposes. Now, this subscription box is called Palletful creativity in a box. And it also says on this bottom part, playful, colorful, palatful. So basically what these are, you're all familiar, I'm very sure, with the concept of subscription boxes. There are so many different types of subscription boxes these days. And they make a great gift for a present if you don't really know what to get somebody. Um, because they come each month as a nice little surprise. And most of the time, the person who's received this as a gift forgets that they're coming each month. So it's like the gift that keeps on giving, I guess you could say. So about palette packs specifically, they have two different the Young Artist Pack and the Premiere Pack, and both of these are subscription boxes that contain art supplies that come in the mail every month. The only difference is the Young Artist Box is specifically for um, young artists, you know, um, just things that are for younger people um, who are just, or anyone just starting out, and they include video to teach you how to use the supplies for that month. And then the Premiere Pack just has a different selection of art supplies, um, sometimes pens or paint and all kinds of different things. And they also have a digital video to teach you how to use the supplies, which is neat. So the one we're looking at today is a Premiere Pack, and this is November's Premiere it up. As you can see, there's lots of little springy springs. Kind of like Easter grass, isn't it? Very soft and little. This is the first time in a long time I've had a box that's come with Easter grass. It's very fun to play with. It's so spring. this wasn't the point of this pack, but I just really like it. Alright, so I'm going to assume that these are the first item. This um, is an art crayon, a watercolor crayon, and it is by Marabou, which is a brand I haven't used before, but I'm sure it's cool. Three in here. What do these have? Colors? Yes. Okay, the green is called Kiwi. This one is Carrot. 
caramel and this one is cocoa. <laughs> All food names, huh? Well, these aren't really my color scheme, but everybody needs all kinds of different colors. And maybe, since these aren't something I would normally buy, it'll be a good stretch and practice for me. There's so little too. And I've never tried these types of, like, watercolor crayons. I've used watercolor these. I'm gonna put some of this over here. There's lots of Easter grass in here to keep everything safe. <laughs> seen me use this type of thing before. Um, I haven't used this brand specifically, but I own a couple of these, and I love these types of travel water brushes. They're so convenient. I mean, it even says here, for traveling artists. But I use them at home just while I'm working, you know, on regular Is available in three sizes. This is the Koi brand. This is round number six, medium, long tank. So the instructions say, number one, remove black cap from reservoir barrel and fill with water. Number two, screw brush on barrel counterclockwise. Number three, Gently squeeze water through brush fibers. Pretty simple. And they are produced by Sakura Color Products Corp. Put that over here, actually. Okay, so this is what they want you to do. Right off. So this is the part you fill with water. And then you can just screw this on like this. This is a little different than my other one. Let's see. Am I doing it wrong? Yes, I was. <laughs> Counter. Really nice brush. All of these types of brushes have synthetic bristles, that way they can be essentially soaked in water for a long time and it won't cause damage. And it has, um, it is a rounded tip for sure, but it's got a point if you needed to do some little details. Not too, too detailed though. Nice. Anyway, I love these types of watercolor um, pens. It's true, they are really good to throw in your bag for traveling, but I use them all the time at home anyway, because I just love them. Okay, so next in the box we have this Strathmore watercolor paper, cold press, 12 sheets, and they're at 140 pounds, and that's great. Personally, I try not to use any watercolor paper that is under 140 pounds because it will bend and just crease and curl at the edges when you're trying to paint. This is quite a nice size little notebook. Let's see. It seems like it should be quite easy to tear the pages out when you're done, which is good. Personally, one I have like watercolor pads, love paper. I 
don't like when they have um, a ring edge because, I mean, this is just me, but most of the time I intend to take the piece out and do something with it after and it's just kind of annoying to have to um, cut a straight edge and remove the, like, ripped edges, you know, from the coil it's nice when you can just pull them out. Personally, I really like the sound of watercolor paper. It's a good texture. A lot of paper has good texture, but water. little pad. I like it because you can just throw it in a backpack or in your travel bag. Do little paintings on the go. For some reason, I seem to never buy paper this size. I always have like a huge brand before Strathmore. They sell it at Michael's. It's, it's pretty nice, actually. Anything over 140 pounds is good fun. Okay, so I'll put this over here. And let's get some more of this grass out of the way. A little crinkly grass. This is in a metal case. And these are watercolor pencils. And I've actually never heard of this brand before. Proyenzil. That might not be right, but it's my best pronunciation. It's not a brand from Holland. I don't know how to pronounce this, but certain type of watercolor brush by Brinzeal. So, on the front, of course, we have the self-portrait from 1887 by Vincent van Gogh. so sad. So, it's 
says he using rhythmic brush strokes and striking colors, he portrayed himself here as a fashionably dressed Parisian. And there's other sets like 50 colored pencils, 24 colored pencils, 12 graphite pencils. Okay, let's open this up. It's a metal case, which is really nice for traveling. satisfying when you can get the <laughs> sticker or tag off in one piece, but I didn't quite manage that today. Okay. So, this opens like this. Oh, it's very pretty. Let's see this on the top here. Okay. Let's see. Brush is placed beneath the pencils in the spaces recess. Oh, there's a brush in here. Oh, okay. So, but it's behind, behind the pencils. How do we get back there? Let's see. Maybe I don't have to lift all the, uh, Sorry about that confusion, everybody. I just wasn't really sure what it meant by the pencils in the space recess. So, these are all very beautiful colors. I especially like this lavender one right here. And this, like, rosy pink one. Let's take a little bit of So there's quite a lot in here. We have a black. Do they have any names on them? Let's see. No, they're all just the same. They just have the logo right here. Put it back. So we have a black. Then we have this like charcoal gray. Then we have this like dark, slightly blue toned brown. And then a and then, this is like a very dark navy. It almost looks black here at the tip. But you can tell by the actual pencil that it's a dark navy. And then, uh, another navy, but it's a bit lighter. And then we have a bit of a peacock blue here. An olive green. An emerald green. Now these two greens are very close to each other in terms of take a look, one of them is definitely more of a leaf green, and one of them is more of a lime green. And green is a very commonly used color, so they gave a lot of variation for that. Then we have this lovely indigo. And then next to that is a beautiful lavender, which I will make a good use of, don't you worry. Then we have this peachy color, this salmony pink. Rose pink, which is really nice too. We have um, an apple, an apple red, then a lobster red, and then we have a lot of yellowy oranges. So this is more of a pumpkin here. This is like a clementine orange. Then we have another brown. This one is more of a yellowy brown. There isn't a ton of difference between these two in terms of the end. When you look at the actual lead in them, it's quite different actually. So then we have this like golden yellow color. And then two different yellows here. One is more of a lemon, one is more of a banana. And then we have a white at the end. Personally, I don't get much use out of white watercolor. So 
so that one might be not super used by me but still very nice and let's take out the pencil crayons one by one until we can manage to get the paintbrush out because I would like to have a look at this paintbrush that it comes with I wonder if I can get it out perfect oops, moved them all over by one, didn't I? them all right back in order. When I was a little girl and I'd get a new box of crayons, it used to drive me just batty that they weren't in rainbow order. They would come just randomly, like all the Crayola boxes didn't come in rainbow order. They came in random color selection, which is also appealing to the eye, I'm sure in terms of a marketing perspective but it would just drive me batty and I would take them all out I would dump them on the carpet and then I would organize them by color in my head it was so that when I needed a specific yellow I could look in comparison with all the other yellows and see which was most suitable and the same with any other color and I still do that as an adult. I have all of my markers uh, sorted by color into a giant stack. Um, it's like a drawer, one of those little drawer organizers, and they're all organized by color. I've had quite a few requests to do like an art, um, I guess, tools video and. I think I will do that. I think you'll be surprised by how underwhelming my collection is though, but I'm more than happy to share with you what art supplies I have. So please look forward to that video. Anyway, enough of my rambling about particular organization for art supplies. I have this little brush here as well. We need to, obviously, it's very stiff to keep the brush in its shape. You have to swish it around in some water first to loosen up the bristles. I don't know how good this actual brush is. It might be fine, but I'm very particular about watercolor brushes. So, I'm sure I'll probably keep this in the box and I might use it. It might be great for traveling. get them in once you've taken them off, eh? Okay, let's put this back away like this. And I'm gonna keep this out of the box, but with the other uh, things that came in this box. The palette full packs. Just because it's kind of a hassle to get the brush in and out, isn't it? Unless you were using all of the I like that this comes in a tin, though. That's really good for traveling. I'm excited to use these because I have some other watercolor brushes. Or not brushes, rather. Pencils. Watercolor pencils. But I don't get really much use out of them. I don't use them very much at all. I think they have such a, a magic in them. Because you can color something as if you were using colored pencils. And then by putting water on top, it just completely changes your piece. So I should probably try to use them more. Okay, let's look at everything that came in this box. We have the watercolor pencils with the brush. They come in that nice little case. We also have 12 page watercolor book, which is very nice. We have these little watercolor crayons. We 
which I've never used and I'm interested to try. And then we also have this watercolor travel brush, which you know I love. So this is really excellent. So all in all, as a total review of the box, I'm really impressed with all the different types of items that you get, even considering that it's on a theme. Like obviously the theme of this box is watercolor. And as someone who does a lot of watercolor painting, I very much like that. So I like this box in general. It seems pretty neat. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed all of the items and the good sounds that they make. <laughs> I have lots more unboxing videos coming because I know that you guys love them. But I have other fun ones too. Things that we've never done before. So please look forward. Thank you for watching as always, my darlings. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.